you haven't been living under the proverbial rock or completely away from your phone or maybe just completely void of all contact with society, you may have not heard that Salesforce just recently purchased Tableau. They purchased it all stock, they acquired all the stock, $15.7 billion for Tableau. Now the interesting thing is, if you remember correctly, and you might not, that there was a leak of Colin Powell's email back in 2016 where he was on the board and he mentioned that they were interested in acquiring Tuscany. Tuscany was the code word for Tableau. So interestingly, here we are. A few years later, they've now acquired Tableau. So clearly it's been all part of a plan. Now, in fairness, there were other uh, vendors on that list. Um, there was other vendors like NetSuite and Marketo, Adobe, um, ServiceNow, but they acquired Tableau. And they acquired it for many reasons, one of which is that they are smart in knowing that the customer 360, the customer 360, the view that they're trying to continue to provide to their customer base as part of the unlock to the digital transformation that their enterprise customers want to have them to be the platform, and that's a key word, to be able to provide that. They've realized that it's one thing to sell sales cloud, service cloud, any of their e-commerce solutions, right? B2B, B2C, marketing cloud. They acquired MuleSoft last year to unlock data, to get access to on-premise or other cloud application data that's not Salesforce related. And they came in and they said, we need to get another piece of this data. We need to get better at data. We know the data, the access to it, and to make it valuable is what we're gonna really need to unlock and to provide the customer suite 360. And again, it makes perfect sense. I go back to that leaked email. This is something they've been talking about for some time, and now they've executed to it. And so what does this mean? Well, it means many things. One, if you're a Tableau customer, okay, and you're not a Salesforce customer, you have to hope that when they say that Tableau is gonna keep operating as its own business, its own entity, that community, which is a strong one, is gonna remain intact. And there's benefits to pulling in the Salesforce community, which is a, a community that's been called cult-like, right, in a good way. They're gonna be able to merge, and there's a lot of benefits to that. There's a lot of benefits to the fact that now there's access to things like Einstein to put on top of that data. Right? But of course, that's gonna require you, the Tableau customer, to become a Salesforce customer as well. Not just in name, because they acquired them, but you're gonna have to start adding that functionality, and that's what's gonna happen. Maybe not immediately, but over time, they wanna convert the customer base to the full Salesforce customer, the full 360, so expect a heavy push there. Now, if you're already a Salesforce customer, that's great, there's synergies unless you're more interested in being the Salesforce customer that you've been all along and not interested in being something more, right? So it's important to get ahead of that. Ask your sales rep, ask for meetings. What does this mean for me? And by the way, when you ask what does it mean for me, it's not about what does it mean for me generally. <clears throat> ask them to talk about what the harmony is gonna be, what value they're gonna get. Ask them to put that on the table. Now it's early. This is not really supposed to take place until Q3 um, of this year, so there's time, but let's get ahead of it. But there's another key point I want to talk about here, which is Microsoft. Okay, so I'm going in maybe a different direction, but this is important. Microsoft, as we've talked about, is aggressively trying to push their Power BI solution. They're pushing it through adoption. They're integrating it with Dynamics, they're integrating it in other capacities, Office 365. Power BI is the competitor to Tableau. So, why is that interesting? There are many organizations, some actually we've had a chance to already talk to, that are starting to plan for their Microsoft renewal. And they're talking to us about, well listen, I have Power BI, and we haven't really gotten the full value out of it, and I have renewal coming up. And so, pre-negotiation, Tableau was already on the table. It was already starting to be discussed as an alternative. You don't think Salesforce knew that? You don't think Salesforce is interested in finding continued ways to penetrate and to get market share and to compete with the big boys, so to speak? 
Of course they are. And so now they own Tableau. And perhaps that same Microsoft customer that is having problems with Power BI, that was thinking about adopting something different like a, a Tableau, perhaps they're, and most likely most are, a Salesforce customer. Right? So think about this. Microsoft customer, the relationship's probably with IT, VP of infrastructure. They have a Salesforce relationship, most likely with the business, which is powerful, perhaps even with the CEO of that company. And they're sitting there going, okay, Tableau. We now own Tableau. So let's talk. You have a Microsoft renewal coming up? We have a solution for you. And there's a synergies here. If, we, if you do this, we can do this on your other Salesforce, which most likely is gonna conclude things like, hey, are you interested in Unlimited Edition? How about MuleSoft? How would you like to add that? Because that will help you transform the relationship. So Microsoft is impacted by this because I fully expect and have already see the impact that this is having on those types of discussions as you prepare for your renewal, you have more leverage now. Which brings me to my last point. This is just the beginning, okay? Salesforce came in and beat out vendors like Microsoft and Google, which coincidentally has a very strategic relationship with Salesforce, is very much interested in competing and finding ways to penetrate Microsoft. So don't think that those conversations aren't going on. Perhaps Google may have wanted to even buy Tableau, which was something that we thought could be a possibility. Perhaps there was a decision that was made that Salesforce will take this one, so to speak. The bottom line is, this is huge. There are other Domo, CSense, ClickView. There's other competing solutions that I will bet will get acquired soon. It's just a matter of time. Because again, it comes back to the unlock of the data. It comes back to getting Tableau under their fold to optimize a whole solution back to the customer base which all comes back to the customer 360, the digital transformation story that they've been building for some time now. So again, pay attention to what's about to happen. Ask proactively of Salesforce in your Tableau what's gonna happen before you ever think about negotiating any renewal, whether it's Salesforce, Tableau, or better yet, even if you approach Microsoft with your renewal discussions.